So what does the death of Jesus mean? We are in the Passion Week and and on the day of Good Friday when Jesus was crucified on the cross. So what is the purpose of Jesus' death on the cross? We will look into specifically Mark chapter 15 verse 21 to 41. The chapter starts by a person named Simon who was just, um, just passing by and they made him to bear Jesus' cross. Since the time Jesus was made to be crucified, he was beaten so badly that he was unable to bear his cross. The, suf the suffering of Jesus was not only physical but also spiritual emotional and psychological. The verse 23 of chapter 15 in Mark says, Then they gave him wine mingled with milk to drink, but he did not take it. And when they crucified him, they divided his garments casting lots for them to determine what every man should take. The Gospel of Mark is the earliest one but has several unique characteristics. It reports nothing concerning Jesus' birth, his childhood or his activities from the time when he was baptized by John throughout the Gospel of Mark particularly emphasizes Jesus' humanity. The Gospel of Mark begins by saying this, the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Here in this scripture, when we were reading from Mark 15, 39, the centurion so when the centurion who stood opposite him saw that he cried out like this and breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. The purpose of why Jesus died was to bring us hope beyond this life. Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 14 says, And if Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. We see many worldviews. The life itself has a different meaning and purpose, and there is no hope after this life. So, how can we present the gospel and the death of Jesus Christ? to this world views. To atheist, this life is all that is. And to pantheist, there are many lives, not only this life, but many forms of life that keeps on repeating. But to Christian, it is as said in Hebrews 9.27, and as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. So we could see the purpose of Jesus' death was to forgive us from our sins, to give us hope after life and life after death, because it demonstrates God's love for us. God's wrath and his judgment was upon Jesus. So what should we do knowing that? Jesus died for our sins. Jesus calls upon 
the disciples, if anyone wishes to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So, Jesus' death on cross gives the answer for the atheist who does not believe life after death to the pantheist who believes that not only this life but there are many other lives other forms of life the circle circle of life even if we just assume it to be okay truth no point of the circle can a person be holy like god to become god only God can give the salvation and He chose because He sent His only Son to die on behalf of us. To break that circle of life. To have a rebirth. To die to our sins and to live for Christ. May we understand this aspect of Jesus dying on the cross was a sacrifice for the whole humanity. And Good Friday is good because of good God. God was good. He chose to forgive us. Amen.